What's going on everybody here with Tom here and today I'm going to be showing you how to build Venti, how to build weapons, artifacts, all that kind of stuff. And real quick, if you do enjoy these gaming guys and gameplays, make sure you subscribe so you can catch up on my latest videos. And uh, yeah, let's go and get into the video. So starting off with Venti's talents, I'm pretty sure that most people know what his talents are and how to use them and everything. But I will go over his talents real quick. So obviously he is a animal build user. His skill, there are two things you can do with a skill. You can either press it or you can hold it. If you press it, it would do just like this wind thing. It's like an AoE attack. It's mainly for getting your particles for your burst. And then if you hold it, it'll do it longer and you'll get more particles, but it'll take longer to recharge. And then for your burst, it's a big like wind vortex thing, if you want to call it that. Like wind vortex thing that groups all the enemies together and whatever elements is nearby like pyro cryo electro hydro all that kind of stuff it will get sucked into the vortex whatever the first element is that comes into contact with the vortex it will become the element pretty much and swirl that element until it's done with the burst so just a bunch of swirling damage a bunch of grouping up very very useful and then for the first passive talent whenever you hold skyward sonnet which is the skill it creates an up current that lasts for 20 seconds so as you can see in a second i can show here we go it lifts you into the air so it's really good for exploration that's most of what it's for if you're trying to get to like a a higher place like on a mountain or something you can hold that and you can get up higher or you can just hold it like i said earlier for more particles for a burst uh but that's what the pa first passive talent is and then the second passive talent when you do your burst you will regenerate 15 energy for venti after the effects of one's grand ode ends so basically after it ends you get particles so you can use your burst again pretty soon after so it's pretty useful and then the third thing that one of the things that venti is known for well besides drinking wine all the time is using gliders and everything so your stamina consumption is decreased for gliding by 20 percent so yeah, and then obviously you can't stack with anybody else that has the same passive talent. But yeah, that's it for the talents. Okay, so real quick, I do want to show off the talents and everything, skill and burst of Venti real quick. Pretty sure everybody is pretty familiar with it, but... So I'm going to use the short one. As you can see, it gets sparkled and stuff. Hopefully I don't kill them before I get the burst. I guess I should have held it to do that, but... Uh, hold on, let me go over right here and do this. I'm gonna infuse it with pyro quick to show you. We go. Time for take off. So you can see it's a big wormhole and well that didn't quite shoot right, but in a normal sense that would be a big wormhole that would be swirling pyro right now, but the game wants to make me look bad right now, I guess. So Here I guess I can't do this. As you can see it gives you a lot more particles than just pressing it, but you have to wait ten seconds for it to recharge for your shield. So um yeah, it's pretty much a skill and burst. I just wanted to show that real quick. Like I said, I'm pretty sure most people are already familiar with what skill and burst do, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show it better in the showcase, though, especially because my burst failed. So yeah, that's it for the playstyle. I guess so for weapons, there's two main weapons I want to talk about with Venti. And the first one is going to be a five star weapon, which is the Skyward Harp. That is, I'm pretty sure it's Venti's signature weapon. And it gives elemental mastery as well, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have it, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'll show a picture here. Uh, so Skyward Harp is the first one, and if you're like me and don't have Skyward Harp, the second I would recommend is the Stringless. That's the second thing I would recommend. Um, obviously, it gives you a ton of elemental mastery and increases your elemental skill and elemental burst damage by 24%. So it is very good for extra burst damage and everything. And skill damage, but you don't really get a lot of damage with your skill. Like I said, it's mainly for particles to get your burst. But yeah, the stri stringless is the best four-star option you can use. Sacrificial bow, I suppose, could be good for the energy recharge because you do need quite a bit of energy recharge for your burst. But that's only if you do not have the stringless and you do not have the scarlet harp. Obviously, you can use that, or you can use Favonius War Bow. But yeah, yeah, Favonius War Bow would probably be better for the elemental particles. It nice for you but either one would be good so first of all stringless or no first of all scarred heart sorry and then streamless that's the two bows i would recommend most of all okay so for artifact sets there's only one set i would really recommend which is 
Freddis and Venner. Everybody knows that this is the set that most animo characters use. So, Freddis and Venner. And if you don't have a good set of Freddis and Venner, well, get a good set of it. Because even though you can get Desert Pavilion, it's not as good as Veritas Venner on Venti as it has nothing to do with him. The attack speed, normal attack, charge attack, punch attack damage, that's not really going to matter at all as most of his damage is going to be from swirling, basically just from swirling using his burst and stuff. So that's why you want the four piece Veritas Venner. So definitely that's the number one set you'd want to use. Okay, so for stat to sub stat, so in your flower and feather, Look mainly for Elemental Mastery and Energy Recharge. And if you do get crit and stuff, like I have, but I didn't really, but if you do get one that has Elemental Mastery and crit, obviously crit is good, but mainly he's an off field, so you're going to mainly want to go for substats of Elemental Mastery. As you can see, I have 79 there on my flower. So that's what you want to look for for your substats. And then Sands of Eon, you're going to want Elemental Mastery, Goblet, Elemental Mastery. And circle it, elemental mastery. Everything elemental mastery. Because there's not even in a parallel world where you would use him as an on field character. So obviously you're gonna want elemental mastery for your burst damage to swirl those elements and get a ton of burst damage. So yeah, elemental mastery and everything. And look for elemental mastery and energy recharge substats because you're gonna need quite a bit of elemental mastery and quite a bit of energy recharge to get your burst pretty often. So yeah. All right, so for team comps, like I said earlier, you're mainly going to be doing teams that are swirling, doing a ton of swirl damage. So a double swirl, double pyro team like this is very good. Another one I have could be this. Instead of Farazan, you can use Venti, anything like that. Oh, uh, I do want to mention a full Archon team can be viable. I, I know it'd be strange, but it could be very good. So, for example, Nahida would be very good with Venti alone because of her elemental mastery that she gives you when you use her burst you get a ton of elemental mastery so that can be very good for him right shogun of course you can swirl her electro and a character like chicken and hazo can be very good like i have in this team because once you use his skill or it's either skill or burst on one of his passive talents i don't remember which you get plus 80 elemental mastery on all of your characters except for Shikano and Hazo, so obviously that would apply for Venti as well. And that would be very good as well. And like I said, an Archon team, a full Archon team would be good because Nahida can give you elemental mastery. Red Shogun, you can use the Electro to swirl the Electro. Venti, obviously you're swirling with Venti, so. And then Zhongli, you can use that as a shielder, so. Honestly, all the four Archons that are at right now you can use, but the main teams I would say is like a, a Pyro Swirl team or like an Electro Swirl team, something like that could be very good as well. Even an Electro Charge team, say like Raiden Shogun, Jinshu like I have here, only except instead of having like Dendro, you can have two Anima characters instead and have like a Swirl Electro Charge team. That could be very good as well, but mainly Pyro... Yeah, mainly, mainly Pyro Swirl Team and Electro Charge can be very good as well. So. Alright, so I'm over here at the Spiral Abyss and I'm going to be showing you a showcase of Venti. And the reason I'm doing another showcase, even though I already did one for Hazo, is because I just did get good 5-star artifacts for Venti yesterday that I upgraded. So, you know, obviously it's going to be better now and I can better show Venti now. And also, when I did the Hazo showcase, I noticed that I didn't really use Venti a whole lot. I kind of tried to use Hazo more than Venti, so I'm going to try to do the opposite, use Venti more than Hazo this time, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the showcase. Think you can get away? 
So that was it for the showcase that was it for the video i do apologize i was just looking back at the footage for a second just to make sure everything was recording right and it seems the same thing happens that happened in my last video which was at the very end at the showcase at the start of like every chamber for some reason the the video would like glitch very badly it's only when i get to the showcase on uh and spiral best it's only when i'm starting it it's not when i get here Let's go Before I get battle. into the spiral business, when I get in there, at the beginning of every chamber, when I start the challenge, it decides to make the video glitch and everything, so... Uh, I have an idea of what it is, I just got a longer cable for my... My Razor Ripsaw, which is my capture card, and, uh... I guess the longer cable doesn't like it, I guess I'm just gonna have to move the capture card closer to my PC and... Use the original cable... I don't know, but uh, I'm sorry about if the rest of the video is glitchy. I don't think it is, but I think it's just that part. I can just cut that part of the video out, but um, yeah, I just wanted to say that real quick. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope I helped everybody build Venti a bit better. I mean, he's he's pretty straightforward to build, you know, but if uh, you're like me, when I was trying to farm for Veritas Inventor, it took me forever to get Elemental Masterpieces, like not even like good Elemental Masterpieces. Like it wouldn't give me a single just elemental masterpiece that was five piece or, or five star it just kept on giving me four stars or kept on giving me hp or defense or attack and i was like no i want elemental mastery but you know it's pretty straightforward to build you don't need a ton of crit rate i mean you can see on mine i don't i don't have hardly any crit rate i have more crit damage but i barely have a good crit ratio at all for him so uh yeah but I hope I was able to help everybody build him better. And if this guy did help you, make sure you subscribe so you can catch up on my latest videos. And I will see everybody in the next video. Bye.